Don't apply for a PhD without considering these key things first. First, know what the purpose and training of a PhD is for. The purpose of a PhD is to train you to be a researcher so you can produce original new knowledge. And as part of that, to train you to critically evaluate other research arguments or truth statements. I've heard a lot of people consider PhDs because they're really interested in something, which is great, but you have to be ready for many years of doing intense research to produce original knowledge on that topic, which may be a threshold you're not about. Two, think about your job after. Some positions, like many in academia or in research or other fields, require a PhD or a terminal degree. That said, many of them also don't. And then there's the ones where you don't need it, but having one could be helpful and or help you get a foot in the door and have people take your expertise seriously. For me, I always planned on working in public health, and so I knew even if I didn't go into academia or research, I would need to be able to critically evaluate other research. So I knew a PhD would probably be helpful, even if I wasn't exactly sure what my job would be. Third, figure out what the funding situation is at each place. Any PhD program worth its salt will pay you to go there. You do not pay. They should cover your tuition, probably health insurance, and give you a stipend that should be enough to live on in wherever they're located. Unfortunately, this is not always the case, and a lot of people go into programs without having a really concrete grasp of how much support they would need or how much support they're getting. There's also tons of grants, fellowships, scholarships you can apply for outside of the program or institution, which could help support your training, like the National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowships. And if you secure one of those, you can let people know on your application, and then they're like, oh my god, this person already has funding. Like, we don't even need to worry about that. They're amazing. Next, think about what advisors or institutes or labs or resources you would want to work with at each place. Some PhDs operate on a very traditional model where you need to pick like your main advisor when you apply and be like, I want to work with this person. Others might have more flexibility where you need to identify possible mentors or people to work with when you go in, but you don't need to formally decide yet or you can change once you're in the program. And lastly, you need to consider the reputation of the department and institutions that you're applying to. Especially if you want to be a professor or work in academia, a lot of the people in top positions come from just a small handful of schools in each field. And the worst thing that I see happen a lot is people will spend years working so hard on a PhD, but the level of cachet that that program has is not enough to like help them get good employment. Getting a PhD can be extremely rewarding and extremely difficult, so you want to make sure that you're set up for success. Be clear about what you want, how you're going to get there, what support you have or need, who you want to work with, and what you want to do after.